The narrator tells how a long time ago, a no dance performers took the world by storm. 900 years ago, two courts with emperors claimed to be the rightful ruler, but only the one with the three sacred treasures could rule. The northern Genji clan defeat the rival Hike clan at the Battle of Dan no Ura, wherein the child emperor drowns while carrying the grass cutter sword. 300 years later, agents of Ashikaga hire a young Timona and his father to retrieve a box from a Hike shipwreck. They find a sword inside the box, not realizing that it is the grass cutter sword, and Timona's father unsheathes the sword, letting loose a blade of energy that cuts him in half and blinds his son, Timona. Timona then goes on a years-long journey to find answers for what happened, with the ghost of his father accompanying him as he looks for the hidden village of the hike. He meets a member of a whole troop of blind Biwa players narrating the story, and decides to learn the Biwa and join the troop, and later changes his name to Tomoichi. A while later, the Biwa leader's third son was born with three stubby limbs, a very elongated right arm, skin covered in scales, and a hideously deformed face. The troop leader has such contempt for his deformed son that he forces him to always wear a mask and treats him like a dog. But one day, the deformed son sees his father try to teach no dancing to his other sons, and he practices along with them and his dance magically restores his legs. He then joyously wanders the village, scaring the villagers and soon meets Tomoichi. He tries to scare Tomoichi with his face, but Tomoichi is blind and can't see his deformity, and he instead plays for him, the Biwa, as they sing and dance around. The two then become friends, and the deformed son then reveals that he actually doesn't have a name, since no one talks to him, but he calls himself Inu-O, and promises that one day, the world will know him. Inuo continues to practice the no dance, but his father discourages him, saying he will never perform on stage with his unsightly arm. Tomona talks to his father's spirit, but he tells him that if he changes his name to Tomoichi, he can't find him, and he informs him about his mother's passing away. Tomoichi then notices that many spirits of hike warriors surround Inuo, telling him their stories, and this vision inspires the two to form a new performing troupe, with Tomoichi now renaming himself Tomoari. Soon after, a long-haired Tomoari performs the new act on a bridge, detailing the rise of his friend Inu-O, resembling a modern metal style, and the locals gather from other dances to listen to him. Meanwhile, below the bridge, Inu-O performs a dance to a large crowd, telling a story of how the hike soldiers tied their arms to their ships, but then lost all the arms when the ship sank, and after the performance, both of Inuo's arms return to normal length. Their act becomes an instant hit, with locals claiming that Inuo moves and sings like nothing else seen, making them move to his beat and sing along with him. They also term the leader, Inuo's father, as old news, now with the fresh Inuo becoming the most entertaining celebrity around. They perform again with crowds swarming in to hear them, as Tamona sings about the rising star, Inu-O, who also sings a story about the hike warriors waiting for a whale that never arrived. His electrifying performance is cheered on by the crowd, as they sing along with him about the hope for the coming whales to their rescue. Back at home, his father gets frustrated after Inu-O steals the spotlight, while the Biwa squad mock Tamona for his new performance, which doesn't resemble their Biwa since he now dresses like a prostitute with long hair and makeup, but their leader master, Teichi, wishes to see the exciting performance. The scales on Inuo's skin disappear, and the fans wonder if they'll see his face next, and Inuo tells Tomoichi that he sings about the fallen in order to honor their memories, as Tomoichi plans to take their act countrywide under his new name, Tomoari. However, Tomori and Inuo's growing new troop arouses the attention of Ashikaga, who only wants his clan's version of the hike stories told and plans to sabotage their act. Lord Yoshimitsu holds a party and invites Inuo to perform, devastating his father, who was always the star of the Hiiza. Inuo is also asked by the Shogun to perform without his mask, but warns if they see his ugly face, they could harm him, and they prepare with Tomoari. Everyone, including Yoshimitsu's wife, is eager to see Inuo perform as he prepares his act. 
Tomowari and Inu O oh delivers a marvelous performance about their stories with the curse of the regalia blade that caused Tomona's blindness, and also revealing Inu O's oh own story, and how his father made a deal with the Demon Mask for fame. The Demon Mask demanded the lives of Biwa players, and the innocence of his unborn son, and released the spirits of Hike soldiers that followed the players. But the spirits later flocked to Inu O oh instead of his father helping Inuo win fame and undo his curse. Inuo's father watches from far away as his son performs and is envious, since he is supposed to be the one shining on stage, and he demands that the mask kill Inuo. However, the mask gets outraged after Inuo's father violates their original agreement, and it destroys him instead for his greed. At the performance, Inuo finally removes his mask and his face gets restored. However, Ashikaga cracks down on the troop and asks them to stop playing their hike songs, forcing Tomorari to stop playing, and they declare that only Kakuichi's original hike songs shall be played. Tomoari's former Biwa troop also try to convince him to come back with them, but he defies their requests and vows not to hide. Ashikaga's guards also kill the Biwa troop's leader in an altercation and they capture Tomoari. Ashikaga himself also tells him that Tomori's troops have been disbanded and demands that Inuo perform only the official version of Hike history, or else he will behead Tomori, and Inuo concedes. However, Tomori continues to perform and speak out against the Ashikaga clan in public, and so the clan's men behead him nonetheless. Inuo goes on to become the greatest no performer of his time, but after he dies, he is later forgotten and all of his songs lost. Fast forward, the narrator turns out to be Tomori's spirit, who has remained on Earth up to modern times, and now uses his original name, Tomona. Inuo's spirit also appears, explaining that it took 600 years to find Tomona, since he changed his name. Inuo then restores Tomona to his youthful form, while he reverts to his deformed version, and the two then perform again, bringing the thrilling film to an end. Thanks a lot for watching guys. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to our channel. I'll be back with another interesting movie recap. Until then, take care.